why I'm here in the first place is to sell you meth. This is Aaron Paul. And if you don't know who he is, then I, you know, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Bitch! He's the star of the Hulu series, The Path. He's joined the cast of Westworld in season three. And uh, there's something else I'm missing. Uh, oh yeah, you probably know him from his three-time Emmy Award-winning performance as Jesse Pinkman, a drug dealer who helps his old chemistry teacher make and distribute meth in Breaking Bad. And the fate of Jesse's character can now be seen in the follow-up film, El Camino. Similar to Jesse Pinkman, Aaron spent the early part of his career playing characters that were kind of on the edge. When he wasn't busy losing the big showcase on The Price is Right. 26,368! Over! Aaron played varying versions of the quintessential teenager, especially when he was jonesing for some corn pops or juicy fruit gum in commercials. <laughs> And although he popped up in the odd film here and there, his specialty was mostly television, playing rebellious teens who were almost always under suspicion for doing something nefarious, especially in procedural crime dramas. Yeah, uh, can I help you? Sheriff's Department, we need to ask you a few questions. You recognize her? Throughout the 2000s, it wasn't unusual to see Aaron sitting in an interrogation room as Detective slid grisly photographs across the table for him to look at. And if he was playing a high school kid, he was both believable as the outcast who's bullied by the cool kids, or a cool kid who's doing the bullying. But he wasn't limited to these roles. If you dragged a comb through his hair and gave him some glasses, he looked downright presentable. Like when he played against type as a straight-laced Mormon in the HBO series Big Love. And it brings my mom a lot of comfort still, so. That is so condescending. I was, um, I was being sincere. Then, of course, in 2008, he auditioned for the part of Jesse Pinkman on Breaking Bad, and the rest was history. You, uh... You want to cook crystal meth? Originally a character that was going to be killed off early on, Jesse lasted the entire series, mostly because Aaron Paul is so f talented. Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Oh! Over the course of five seasons, audiences got the privilege to watch Jesse grow from this reckless and irresponsible drug dealer to the heart of the show, especially as Walter White gradually turned into a monster. You can't keep getting away with it! Besides Breaking Bad, Aaron's had plenty of film roles. He's definitely got the right energy for horror films like The Last House on the Left. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd be asleep right now. Or action thrillers like Need for Speed. Let's go! When given the opportunity to play characters with a strong internal conflict, he's a natural, like when he struggles with sobriety as one half of an alcoholic couple in the indie drama Smashed. You're better off without me. Just glad that you're doing well. The same goes for Eddie Lane, a cult member who experiences a crisis of faith in the path. So that we may have the energy to create a more beautiful world and break through the blocks and barriers of this life and ascend the ladder of enlightenment. With the release of El Camino, it's obvious that Aaron Paul will always be known for his Emmy award-winning performance on Breaking Bad, but he's not limited to that by any means. Throughout his entire career, he's given these truly natural performances. It just never feels like he's acting. Well, that probably means that he's doing his job.